Welcome back, this is The Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. Please subscribe right here, hit the notification bell. You'll get notifications for this series and a bunch of other ones on our channel. We're doing Linear Algebra 1. This is Chapter 1, Systems of Linear Equations. Right now we're doing M Linear Equations and N Unknowns, and this is the recap. This lecture, what we're going to do is an overview of M Linear Equations and N Unknown Variables, and what it means to solve uh, N by N linear system. Okay, this is a linear system S. What we have is M Equations which we have in orange, and n unknowns, x1, x2 to xn, which are in blue. And this is the general form of what a linear m by n system is going to look like. We have a bunch of terminology, in particular, what we mean by solving this or finding a solution. So let's go through that. First of all, if all of these guys, b1 to bm, are zero, we call this a homogeneous linear system. What we're looking for is solutions to non-homogeneous and homogeneous linear systems. A solution is any ordered n tuple s1 to sn which makes all of the equations true simultaneously and in particular the trivial solution is the n tuple of all zeros this guy essentially what we're looking for in most cases is non-trivial solutions to either homogeneous or non-homogeneous systems of equations essentially what we're looking for is the non-trivial solutions to systems of equations which are either non-homogeneous or homogeneous. The most important part is by solving a linear system S, we mean find all of the solutions, and this is called the general solution. Now what we're going to do, looking at the recap of this video, is look at one more system and try and see how we're going to actually go about finding all of the solutions to a linear m by n system of equations. All right, let's look at an example, three linear systems and their solutions. What we're going to do is look at the case when we have one solution, infinitely many solutions, and no solutions, and try to find an idea of how we're going to systematically do this. What we're going to do is, in one move, I'm going to manipulate equation two in each case. And then from there, we can back substitute, and because this is only a two by two system, we can find our general solution immediately doing one operation. What that looks like is I'm replacing in each case equation two. In the first case, I'm going to replace, replace equation two with equation two minus equation one, and that's going to give us this system. I now have one equation and one unknown in the last equation, and I can solve for y, which is one half. And then because I know what y is one half, I can put it in here, and I find that x is four minus one half, which is seven halves. That means I have the general solution is the unique solution, x is 7 halves and y is 1 half. In the second case, I see and so start suspecting when we start wanting to solve this that this is a multiple of this one. Therefore, if I replace equation 2 with equation 2 minus 2 times equation 1, I get 0 times y is 0, or a tautology. What that really tells me is 0 equals 0 tells me that, even if you don't write it there, 0 equals 0 means that I focus on the y variable. y is free to be anything, so we call it t and then we solve for x in terms of y in the second equation, and we get the general solution, which has infinitely many solutions, is x is 4 minus t, and y is t. Then in our last case, when I see that we have the exact same equations, or I suspect I make it a contradiction, what we do is, again, replace equation 2 with equation 2 minus equation 1. This time what I get is 0 equals something non-zero, so 0 equals negative 1 in this case, but in any scenario when you get this, you'll get 0 equals something non-zero. And what that really tells us is this time is our system has solutions if and only if 0 equals 1, and this is bad, so we can conclude that our general solution is actually the empty set, or we say no solutions. Again, there's only ever three cases, a unique solution, infinitely many solutions with a free parameter, at least one, or no solution. What we're going to do next time is define an augmented matrix of a linear system and then get three row operations which systematically allow us to take the original system and transform it into an equivalent system which has the same solutions and then we can read off essentially what the solution to the both systems are and this gives us a systematic method of solving m by n linear systems called Gaussian elimination. Please subscribe right here, hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time. I don't have the marker.